Welcome to Art Bites from the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. I'm Catherine Slogic. I'm the Associate Curator of Education. And today I'd like to share two wearable sculptures by Marjorie Schick. The first is called Spiral and the second is called Celebration Necklace. Marjorie Schick was born Marjorie Ann Krask in Taylorville, Illinois in 1941. She grew up in the Midwest with a mother who was an art teacher, and she dreamt of becoming a Hollywood costume designer. Um, she said, I filled boxes full of paper doll clothes for Brenda Starr and other career women in the funny pages and imagined myself wearing the rings I saw in the local jewelry stores. I loved jewelry and still have jewelry pieces from childhood. She studied at the Art Institute of Chicago in the summers during high school with the hope of becoming a clothing designer. She continued her education in jewelry making at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, marrying her husband, James Schick, after graduation. And they finished their studies at Indiana University where she earned her MFA. Marjorie trained as a traditional metalsmith and silversmith, but soon conceptualized her work as sculpture that could be worn. She and her husband taught first at the University of Kansas and then moved to Pittsburgh State in 1967, where she taught until 2017. Her work was world renowned. And in 2008, the Beach Museum of Art featured an exhibition of Schick's work called Sculpture Transformed. Schick was trained in traditional jewelry making, but soon began to make more sculptural jewelry that could be worn but also displayed as sculptures. Some were smaller, like the rings that are seen at the left, which are about three inches square. Others later on required the whole body. She was a leader in the community of, of a group called the New Jewelers who were rejecting traditional materials and techniques. And all of her, her work was really based on the human form. She worked in everything from paper mache, dowel rods, string, rubber, canvas, and wood. She said, I view the human body as a living sculpture, and I am developing additional sculptures to be worn by it. Additionally, she said, when you wear a flower as decoration or a ball dress, you have to move carefully through the room. Normally, wearing jewelry doesn't mean that people move differently, but why not? My pieces create new experiences for the wearer for a few minutes or a few hours. When the piece is removed, the memory remains of how it felt on the body and how the body felt within the piece. Celebration necklace was made in the 1980s when Schick was playing with materials, including riveted dowel rods. It measures about 18 inches square with a depth of up to seven inches. These stick designs play with the illusions of negative space, feature zigzags, pickup sticks, and spirals. The powerful tensile energy that results from the dynamic um, manner in which she arranges the bright colors, the lines of different lengths, and the sharp angles of intersection. Schick refers to these colorful linear constructions as three-dimensional drawings to wear. Instead of marking lines and colors on a surface, she creates her three-dimensional stick drawings for spaces that exist at the boundaries of the head, torso, and limbs. The spiral is created from paper mache, a lightweight and pliable substance that allowed her to create volume without weight and experiment with color. This piece measures 11 by 10, and the piece is created on a wire frame encapsulated with molded pulp. While it could be worn around one's neck and over the shoulders, it can also be displayed with no real top or bottom as the photographs show. Schick began her experimentation with paper mache in the 1970s and returned to it as a media in the 1990s using different painting techniques with color palettes and textures that represented events and places. As you take a final look and decide with which next sculpture you would prefer to wear, Think about the formal aspect of Schick's work. She said, there are five major aspects to my work, the constructed three-dimensional form, the color relationships, the de definition of space, 
the combination of patterns and the scale of the objects in relationship to the human figure. My goal is to create a sense of visual tension among the formal elements of each object, such as from line to plane, from color to value, from one directional force to another, or from the rhythms in the structure to the rhythms in the color. Each object is studied and worked in totality, no part being any less important than any other. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about this artist and will join us for Art Bites again in the future. Thank you.